I make a good move as a fat guy to get this forehand, but right about here is where you're going to start seeing this, the double clutch stutter flutter right there. And because of that, the actual angle of the racket is inconsistent and therefore I have no idea where the ball is going to go. And that is why my forehand sucks. This video was taken March 23rd of this year. The big difference from the video that was taken in September of 25th of last year is that I'm 23 pounds lighter in this video. But the other big important change is that my forehand, although not perfect, it is smoother and it's more consistent. My contact point is more consistent. My follow, follow through where the actual racket ends up is more consistent. And I'm not trying to do some weird thing with the wrist. Again, you will see there, that one right there was a stutter flutter. It will come back, but it is generally a lot better. And as a result, I'm actually winning a lot of matches because I'm just not hitting as many errors. So in this video, I want to slow it down a little bit just to see what's going on with the wrist. It looks a lot better. It looks like the whole stroke, even at its slow speed, is a lot smoother. One thing I wanted to point out, though, is that I am not loading my legs. If you notice my legs, they're pretty straight, very up and down. And therefore, I'm not really engaging the lower body as far as pushing off from the ground to get more power. That being said, the actual stroke is cleaner than what it was uh, back in September. And as far as the take back, I could probably wait a little bit longer on that, but again, I think it's a lot better than it was. I don't have an inconsistent angle when I strike the ball. It's starting to be a lot more consistent when I when the ball face when the face of the racket actually meets the ball. So again, I think it's a lot better. Except for that.